Okay. Away with you. Away. No, I will not be gone. Aha! What's up, cool people? My name's Matt. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Okay. So we find ourselves at the Assassin's Bureau now. In between recordings, I did all the viewpoints did all the investigations. So we'll see if all that has any particular effect on my ability to, uh, you know, actually be stealthy with the assassination this time. Safety and peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. And that's rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Pretty do much him giving me the okay. Mission, right? <laughs> only make sure you do it quietly. Alrighty. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Talal inspects his warehouse daily strike during the next inspection. Checkpoint reached. So... Really, that's like right around where I was before. With, like, the last viewpoint that I did. Alright, well. Guess I got some walking to do. Or... At least maybe some, uh, parkour to do. Proceed from here. Maybe I go like this. There's a ladder here. I would like to go down the ladder in order to look, you know, a bit more normal. <laughs> As I continue making my way. If I'm going to be at all stealthy with any kills, I should probably try and use the hidden blade. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got blood turned off in the game. So, uh, really pretty much the only thing that should come up, well, the main thing that should come up that would be, you know, pretty bad content-wise would be, uh, possible foul language. But that only, so far, at least, seems to come up during the, like, the not-so-assassin parts of things. Like when you're outside the Animus. Um, 
Alright, maybe I'll go this way. Or should I blend in with the scholars? Perhaps. Yeah, let's see where they go. Like, if they take me over this direction that I'm looking, that will be quite helpful. Yeah, don't mind me being right here with these scholars, even though I'm totally not dressed like them. Really, the only similarity is that we're all wearing white. Alright. From here, I'm hoping I can maybe get on to the rooftops again. Okay, fine. Hopefully that doesn't do anything to, uh, tip off Talal. Speaking of Talal, it seems I am very close. I'm practically right on top of him. Oh, hello. Ancestors memory synchronized, now recording. What is this? What now, slaver? Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe. Preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Help me! Save me! Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can't be so sneaky with this one. Cleared the path. Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this... I did for you. Step into the light, then, and I will grant you one final favor. I don't know if I should, but What's this? The, per of a light? the perspective it's giving me seems like I don't have much choice. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. This will teach you not to trespass. Oh, jeez, really? Is he just going to keep sending more guys at me? Also, I worry I'm becoming a bit too reliant upon the counter kill. I 
Okay, it does seem like if I counter them more than once, though, that it's, uh... Pretty much lets me be rid of them. Okay. So now I need to actually... Try and get to Talal himself, it would seem. Great. Stop it. Okay. Oh, jeez. That's nowhere near what I wanted to do, but oh well. Oh, come on. Let me up the ladder. Really, dude? Okay, let me up, let me up, let me up. Jeez. Okay. No, I will not be gone. Aha! Got him. <laughs> You've nowhere to run now. Share your I still think that was at least a bit smoother. My part is play. Than the last the assassination. Is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind, eh? They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No. Not yet, it seems. But you will. Come on. Oh, jeez. I've also got these guys. Okay, so these ones are really just a bit tougher. Because they take two counter strikes. To fully kill them. I would like to get away. I don't know if this is actually going to get me anywhere helpful, but... Uh, I need somewhere to hide. Oh, hey, a flag. Haystack! He won't let me stay in the haystack. Because there's a guy right there. If I would have known that. Yeah, I need to wait until the triangle thing turns yellow. 
before I can actually hide much of anywhere. Come on, let me up! Well, this is not going particularly well now. And now they're chasing me. It's fine. Be gone. Man, these guys are fast. I can't actually climb up there. <sighs> Fine. What in the... Okay, goodbye Templar guy. need a place to hide. Ah. Hiding spot, hiding spot. Well, those are guards there. I'm definitely not going to be able to hide right in front of those guards. I really wish they didn't make these guys so fast. Yes, vigilantes. Help me out. Everywhere I go, there are more guards that can find me. <laughs> really? <sighs> I will say I'm having a much harder time getting away from the guards this time around than I did with the last assassination. I don't care about the achievements being saved. I mean, I kind of care, but relative to what's going on at the moment, I don't. Come on! Right before I got to it, somebody else spotted me! This genuinely seems like it should not be programmed this way. Is that just me? And I have no hiding spots nearby. I was trying to jump off. Fine. I'll just drop down then. 
All kinds of guards, yeah. That helps me. <sighs> Come on. How am I supposed to get away from this? And now I'm backed into a corner, and I have pretty much no option but to fight. And there are more guards coming! Well, at least now they're all on the same side of me. This is ridiculous, though. I have, like, literally every guard in the town going against me in this sequence. I was focused on him. Can you let me do some things properly, please? That... I really hope that doesn't completely undo the whole assassination thing. Because if it does, then... Oh, man. I have so much that I have to undo. It does me no good trying to find these hiding spots if there are guards near every last one of them! Ah, oh, come on! I was literally half a second away from blending in on that bench! What the- This is absolutely stupid! Why is it functioning like this? This does not seem like how this is the, the way the game is designed to be! Nor should it be! Ugh. Okay, maybe I'll be better off staying on the rooftops. Where do I find a hiding spot on the rooftops? Especially one where I'm not already being observed. There are too many guards all over the place. What's the, like... The... I didn't do that poorly with the actual assassination attempt, but now, for some reason, every person on planet Earth can see me within the limits of this town. <laughs> Really? Yeah, that makes loads of sense. Make me fall off the building. When I'm already in a bad enough spot. Ugh. 
Okay, what's that dude's problem? I guess he's just running away. Because I killed all of his friends. Oh. Finally. I'm semi-anonymous. And now I just need to get back to the Assassin's Bureau. So what, all it took was finally killing the right combination of people in the right area that was completely not obvious where it was a good spot for that. Like, I just, man. It seemed like there was just so much scrambling and other such things. Anyway. Apologies for having you find me in such a mood there, Jacob. to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No! A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Muallim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a Yeah, and that was not one where I had really a particularly stealthy option of completing the assassination because it started me off trapped in a warehouse building fighting off that initial group of guards and then trying to chase the guy down throughout the town Okay. Fast forward memory to Masyaf. Yes, because otherwise it would just be doing random stuff around the town here and in between locations. So yeah, sure. Jar carriers can easily break your cover if you cause them to drop what they're carrying. I trust you are successful? The slave trader is dead. Yes, the birds brought word to me. War is a dirty business. Labor and soldiers seem to be in short supply. Killing that man has saved countless lives. You've no doubt deprived the Crusaders and Saracens of additional troops. These are dark days when men's lives are valued in gold and such small amounts at that. He saw it differently. Claimed they were not slaves at all, that he was helping them. Do you know how it is you can tell a man is mad? They speak to air, claw themselves. No. They are the ones who speak and act as if there is nothing wrong. I don't understand. Few are the men who would admit to evil. Always rationalized. Always explained. So he lied. I was not there. Did not hear his words myself, but yes. If you speak truly, I think he was simply trying to excuse his deeds. I saw them, though. The men and women who would be slaves. They were a strange sort. Old, mad, sick. Weak, yes. What better way to make a soldier than to take a broken man and rebuild him? Give him all he's been denied with the promise of more. It seems a lot of work. It is. But what you get in return is loyalty. Knowing what it was they stood to lose, such men would be loath to betray their savior. An interesting theory. <clears throat> See? There is still much I can teach you. Everyone deceives. Each other, themselves. Learn to pierce the veil. And know that nothing is true. Go. So then how can I trust what you're door. saying? Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. DNA synchronization augmented. 
Got throwing knives. Got the tackle ability. Okay. And I can practice those in the courtyard. And how, pray tell, do I access the uh, throwing knives? So, I believe there's also another assassination that I have to do before getting information on any more stuff. Um, press left trigger to practice your fighting techniques. Sure. It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Uh, throwing knives, yeah. Press left to select your throwing knives and press X to throw them. Okay, that seems simple enough. That, my students, is how we all should fight. <laughs> yes, just throwing knives at the enemies is clearly the best way to fight. Anyway. Yeah, okay. You must be busy. I understand. So the next... The next mission would have me going... To, I don't even, I don't know if that's pronounced Acre or what, but anyway. Um, yeah, I guess that'll be for the next episode. I mean, I could at least get myself outside of here into, uh, like the main overworld map. Oh, I just realized it also shows that there's a particular limit on the throwing knives. Can I pick them up again once I've used them? Also, I really don't want to just randomly tackle somebody here. The tackling thing actually would have been rather helpful against uh, Talal there. <laughs> but oh well. I kind of sort of tackled him anyway, just with the uh, hidden blade instead of <laughs> an actual regular tackle. All right, going outside the limits of Masyaf. I was not trying to jump over those rocks there. So, yeah, I don't know. Talal mentioned some things that made it seem like you're maybe even kind of supposed to question Al Mualim a bit. Attack will leave your enemy vulnerable. Finish him by breaking his legs or by throwing him to the ground. Okay. Made it out to here, so... Yeah. Next location we're going towards is down that way. 
And I think I'll just... Well... I don't know, I was thinking maybe in between recordings I could just take care of these viewpoints in between and actually get myself there. But there's actually quite a lot in between, so... I mean... Then again, it's the main overworld map. Maybe there's not actually that much. I don't know. But I definitely think that's enough recording for now. All right, so eventually we did the whole assassinating Talal thing. Um, that actually wasn't the hard part. The hard part seemed to be uh, just getting away from all the guards afterwards. There were so many guards. And apparently they just would not back down until I got rid of uh, a certain number of them. Or maybe it was just the fact that I was only dealing with the regular guards in that last bit and not the ones that were specifically like Talal's men. But eventually they kind of scattered or at least the last one left in a certain group ran away and I could finally get in the clear. Um, and then we just reported what happened to Al Mualim. Um, got me questioning his motives a little bit. Um, just through combinations of what was said. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's meant to be a misdirect. Could be foreshadowing. Hard to be totally sure on that but if there's more stuff that gets you to question him then you gotta really start thinking this is foreshadowing anyway i digress so yeah um we have our target city at least for next time and we'll just have to see what happens i'm sure there's going to be more you know assassinating coming up um but who knows maybe it'll look a bit different, because that, you know, the assassination thing with Talal looked quite a bit different than the previous one. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see. Anyway, as always, like and share if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell if you're on YouTube to get updates when I post new videos. If you're seeing this over on Rumble, give me a follow there. Either way, look down in the description to get info on other social media pages and all that good stuff. And leave comments down below there with any thoughts you have. So that's it for now. Hope you're all doing well. Hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. But whatever the case is, till next time, stay cool, people.